In this video, we're going to show you how to run a drive, uh, or an ATV212 drive for that matter, without a motor hooked up to it. So we have no leads on the bottom of the drive, no motor connections. Um, and we're going to try to run it just to see, to see if it runs, or maybe you want to test out your analog speed, um, whatever have you. Or maybe that you have a fault code that would relate to maybe a shorting issue that you want to confirm to see if it's a you know bad drive or bad motor, whatever have you. This is how you do that basically regardless of what you want to do. So first of all, there's only one parameter that's really important here, and that's parameter under the F dash dash dash. So to get there, you just press the mode once, and you have arrow down to F dash dash, enter, and you can go arrow down to 605. That's the main parameter. That's your output phase loss parameter, and it's enabled from the factory. What that means is if you try to run without any load or any motor at all connected to it, it will fault out on a loss of phase fault. So F605 is a parameter here. Now normal is a three, I already have it disabled, but normal is a three. But if you want to disable that again, you have to make that a zero. Okay? So once that's a zero, now you can uh, run like you would normally as if you have a motor on there. So you can try to you know give it a run command, toggle that in. And as you can tell, it goes to whatever speed you want, as if you have a motor on there. But there's no load right now. Um, now, at this point, if you choose to measure your output voltage out of the drive, you can do so with a meter. Um, but that's basically how you program the drive to allow you to run without a motor connected to it.